Hey guys, what's going on? Third Show Reactions here. I'm Shane, and I'm back with House of the Dragon, Season 1, Episode 8. Last episode, we had the family feuds. We had the escalation with kind of the rivalry between Alicent and Rhaenyra. We opened with the funeral of Lady Lena, and I thought it was sad and somber. I thought it was a good time, hopefully, for the family to kind of reconvene and get back together. I thought there was going to be a moment between Daemon and Viserys, but Daemon is too proud, and he didn't want anything from him. After years of pent-up sexual tension, Daemon and Rhaenyra, they finally get it on, on a beach. And farther down that same beach, Aemon claims Lady Lena's dragon, uh... Rhaegar. I learned in the comments that Rhaegar is a she, so Rhaegar, the female dragon, has been claimed, and there was a freaking brawl. It was like Lord of the Flies, these kids were going after one another, and you know what? There were a lot of comments that were pretty passionate. I do agree with the one gentleman said to rewatch that fight again, bro. And you know what? I think it because I felt like Amon was being the jerk and he was the one provoking. I think he's older, I think he's bigger, I think he was doing all the provoking, he was being a little asshole. But, you are right, he made some big threats, and Rhaenyra's son drew a blade, which he shouldn't do. Aemon drew this big rock for like a blunt force weapon instrument thing, which obviously shouldn't have been done. And he lost his eye, but he gained a dragon. My favorite character in the scene in the end when the feud was going on was Viserys. I love him, I felt bad for him, I think he's just a good noble king, and I know there's a bunch of people who are saying like, oh he's shitty, he... You know, he killed his wife and everything. I agree that was awful, but most of these people are awful. And one thing I do know that George R. R. Martin wrote Viserys to be a very likable king who maybe didn't do anything completely noteworthy. And the crippled Harwin is back conspiring. And if you are watching Anonymous Person, a comment who deleted their comment, I do not hate cripples. I do hate that character, and I will refer to him as a cripple. Because, you know, I think it's funny. And he's a freaking dirty, scheming cripple. I thought Alicent was definitely out of line for trying to take, you know, Rhaenyra's son's eye. Otto did like her fervor and told her, hey, mind your emotions, stay close, listen carefully, and I promise that we will come out on top. It was one of the most tense scenes that I've watched in a long time of anything, and it was definitely the most intense thing this season. Before we jump in, remember you can support us on Patreon, and you can also see the full-length, uncut version of this episode in up to two weeks early access on our non-live shows. Also, check out our merch. Guys, let's jump in. Dude, I hope the king doesn't look like more shit now. I hope there's not another freaking time jump. It's been near six years since I last saw my lord husband. God damn it, is there a six year time jump? In the fighting, his neck was slashed by a courser's dagger. What the fuck? Dude? Ship's maester said, he burns from within. Oh, so he's alive. Six years? She saw her freaking husband? And yet I have seen blood fever overcome men half his age. I will not suffer the talk of crows in my house, Vaymond. I love my brother. But we must be honest with ourselves. We may greet his ship to find him gone. And who will take the driftwood throne? My grandmother seems quite comfortable here. She presides only in the absence of her husband. Be careful, good brother. None can take your words for treason. Speak the truth, Rhaenys. And you know it. The matter has been decided. By a man whose ambition has brought down on us calamity after calamity. My brother cares only for the history books. And while I should like your support, I do not need it. Why you wait till you find out what happens to the sea snake? It's not a king who sits the Iron Throne these days, good sister. It's a queen. Oh, so Alicent has gained power, has gained favor. Oh, they're in that? Damon. Aegon ordered that the tree should be killed. Felled. It is a related word. I don't expect you to learn High Valyrian in a day, Jace. A king should honor the traditions of his forebears. Well, unless you're planning to depose your own mother, you have plenty of time to study. This is a great thing. 
It's kind of Rhaenyra's theme, isn't it? Oh, man. My heart's beating thinking about Viserys being, like, all shitty looking. I would say it's nice to be home, but I scarcely recognize it. Hmm. Septons have requested half that again for a bronze bust they wish to, co to commission for the, the Festival of the Mother, of which I would not recommend. Thank you for that exhaustive accounting, Lord Beesbury. I remind you. The Sea Snake has never formally named him as heir, if it comes to that. The Crown must choose what is best for the realm. He is Lenor's son. What grounds could there be what for... What indeed, Lord Beesbury? What indeed? We shall hear Princess Rhaenyra's petition along with those of the other claimants on the morrow. Father? Oh, no. Oh. Jesus. Who goes there? Father. It's me. My king. Rhaenyra. Is he blind? I'm here with Damon. Oh, Damon. Damon. Oh. <laughs> Help me up. Jesus. Oh. Four years ago. No, Trike is just resurgent. Damn resurgence. The fighting is new. <sighs> David. Brother. <sighs> Who is that? <sighs> Jesus. This is Aegon. How many Aegons are there? And this. It's for Sarah's. Now that is a lame. Fit for a king. <laughs> Very good. Mighty. Mighty. Okay. This? Yes. Who yes. fucking is not just a Mercury or some shit? Allison is slowly killing his ass. Something in there? When I turned, I didn't see him. I asked him to stop. Your guys, <laughs> truly, <laughs> you must believe me. <laughs> Good. Is Diana gonna be killed now? I believe you. <laughs> you do. But what I worry about is what others might believe. You're alone with the prince, were you not? Yes. <gasps> I know if anyone else were to hear about this, they might think you were trying to besmirch the prince, or worse, that you're the sort of girl that might have enticed him in the first place. And you know what happens to girls like that. So she gets raped and now she's in trouble. I know you won't. Okay, you won't, so I'll let you go. See the troubles. There's money, and you gotta leave. I'll tell you what, man, that Plan B pill was, uh, that was a lifesaver back in the day. I had like a Pez container with those things. Dude, she looks like she's 12. The girl, Echo, the one you said fleeing from your company. Oh, it's just harmless fun. She didn't need to go get upset about it. Think of the shame on your wife. <clears throat> on me. How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Why? What is it today? Peace. 
try so hard, but it will never be enough for you or father. Dude. My father and I miss you as of the king's will and wisdom. And how exactly is that wisdom expressed? Hmm? In blinks and wheezes. I'd be surprised if he could remember his own name or if you could. King Viserys' condition has worsened since you saw him last. <laughs> It subjects him to considerable pain on the advice of the maesters. Oh, the maesters, of course. It is they who keep him addled on milk of the poppy while the high towers warm his throne. Rhaenyra, if you would see him without it, almost blind with suffering. Oh, I have no doubt it was an act of the purest mercy, but tell me, for the king's suffering, did the maesters also prescribe the removal of Targaryen Heldry and the installation in its stead of various statues and stars? The emblems of the Seven serve only to guide us on an uncertain path, to remind us of a higher authority. And on the morrow, which authority will sit in judgment of my son's claim on his own inheritance? That would be mine. And the hands. But be assured. Oh, Lord. So now she's super, like, religious? <laughs> you look kind of short. I don't give a shit about Tawny's. Nephews? Have you come to train? Jesus. You told me it was our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. By naming me heir, you divided the realm. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me and my children. I want there to be a moment between him and Damon, but I don't know if that'll happen now. I want to have supper or two. It is the morning, Your Grace. Uh, tonight. All of my family are gathered at the Red Keep. I want us to dine together. Oh. Jesus, dude. The true, unimpeachable blood of House Valarian runs through my veins. As it does in my sons, the offspring of Lenor Valarian. If you cared so much about your house's blood, Sir Baymond, you would not be so bold as to supplant its rightful heir. Now, you only speak for yourself and for your own ambition. You'll have chance to make your own petition, Princess Rhaenyra. Do Sir Baymond the courtesy of allowing his to be heard. I agree. No interrupt. What do you know of Valarian blood, Princess? I could cut my veins and show it to you, and you still wouldn't recognize it. This is about the future and survival of my house, not yours. My queen, my lord Hand. This is a matter of blood, not ambition. Dude, he looks like... Continuation of... If I am to grace this fast with some answer, I will start by reminding the court that nearly 20 years ago in this very... Jeez, wait. King Viserys of House Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, and the Rhoynar, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. They're like, what? Jeez Louise.
I just want to know what Damon's thinking, man. I want them to forgive each other. I will sit the throne today. Your grace. I must admit my confusion. You break law and centuries of tradition to install your daughter as heir. Yet you dare tell me who deserves to inherit the name Valari. No. I will not allow it. Allow it. <laughs> Do not forget yourself, Payment. That is no true Valarian. And certainly no nephew of mine. Good you, Chambers, you have said enough. Viserys is my true-born grandson. I will not see it ended. Don't say bastard. On account of this. You get your, hung, your tongue cut out. I don't want to see that. Our children are bastards! She is a whore. I will have your tongue for that. He can keep his tongue. Disarm him! Minnie. <laughs> what the? Take something for the pain. Uh, Try to dump him up. I might. I must put things right. Fucking demon. How good it is. See you all tonight. Together. Prayer before we begin. Yes. May the mother smile down on this gathering with love. May the smith mend the bonds that have been broken for far too long. And to Vaim and Valarian, may the gods give him rest. <laughs> this is an occasion. Celebration, it seems. My grandsons, Jason and Luke, will marry their cousins, Bela and Reyna, further strengthening the bond between our houses. Well done, Jace. You'll finally get to lie with a woman. Let us toast as well, Prince Lucerus, the future Lord of the Tides. Hey, hey. You'll be great. Do you know how the act is done? I assume. 
Lo dude. I had to put your cock and all that. Let it be, cousin. You could play the gesture if you wish, but hold your tongue before my betrothed. Dude, that kid's a little asshole. my heart and fills me with sorrow to see these faces around the table the faces most dear to me in all the world yet grown so distant from each other in the years past face is no longer a handsome one <laughs> if indeed it ever was but tonight I wish you to see me as I am not just a king but your father your brother your husband Sire, who may not, it seems, walk for much longer among you. Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. The crown cannot stand strong if the house of the dragon remains divided. But set aside your grievances. If not for the sake of the crown, then for the sake of this old man who loves you all so dearly. Ah, oh, fuck. I just want everyone to get along for him now. I wish to raise my cup to Her Grace the Queen. Oh. I love my father, but I must admit that no one has stood more loyally by his side than his good wife. She has tended to him with unfailing devotion, love, and honor. And for that, she has my gratitude. And my apology. Good. Jesus. We are both mothers. And we love our children. We have more in common than we sometimes allow. I raise my cup to you and to your house. You will make a fine queen. I was like, I want Damon to say something. I need more from him. I regret the disappointment you're soon to suffer. But if ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied all you have to do is ask dude don't do it in front of him god just let let him die knowing you guys all loved each other just pretend pretend for that man god i need more from damon Okay, I understand you're trying to be polite, but why are you even doing that? Good, he's seen the love.
That kid still looks nine, and he looks like he's 29. Oh, no. Final tribute to the health of my nephews, Jace, Luke, and Joffrey. Each of them handsome, wise, strong. Amen. Come. Let us drain our cups. It was only a compliment. Do you not think yourself strong? <laughs> Why would you say such a thing before these people? I was merely expressing how proud I am of my family, Mother. Mm. Oh, it seems my nephews aren't quite... All of you go, now. First, I think, if we go back to Dragonstone. But you've only just arrived. Let me see the children home. I'll, um, return on Dragonback. The King and I would both like that. Can they mend their friendship? So Amon looks like He's going to be kind of a psychopathic Targar Targaryen. What do you want it to do? If I believe it to be true. Believe what to be true, my king. Aegon. Our son. His dream. The Song of Ice. And finally, what he saw in the north. The prince that was promised. I don't understand the south. He met the realm against the cold and the dark. It is you. You are the one. You must do this. Now, is that going to be within her burning? She's because she's obviously misconstruing. Yeah, I mean, it's a one big clusterfuck. No. Uh, how am I going to edit this thing? I understand, my king. I know more. Oh, no, he's going to commit suicide? Guys, that was my reaction. This is my review. What a great episode. Last episode gave me some of the most tense scenes, and the whole thing, I think, was a thriller for the most part. This episode wasn't trying to be a thriller. And honestly, the first maybe quarter of the episode, I thought it was a little lacking in terms of grabbing me. But all the King Vasira stuff absolutely was was brilliant to me. I presume this is his last episode, and he's taking his last breaths there, but he remained a kind king who cared about his family and he just wanted everyone in the family to get along and love each other and be united. When he was walking up those steps and his brother Damon, you know, I, I know I kept saying I, I needed more from Damon, but you know, honestly him helping his brother up the stairs, that's, that's huge. Oh, I'm getting choked up now thinking about it. That music when he's walking in the throne room, when he's walking up the steps, it reminds me of The Lion King. It has a similar theme and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the latter half of the movie. So Jace, Amon, and Joffrey. Obviously bastards, and it's not their fault. But I get it, man. They stick out like a sore freaking thumb. It is awkward. It's awkward as shit to watch, and everyone just knows. Renera just be fucking that guy. And I know, I don't know if she loved them, but they obviously cared about each other. And she loves her children. I mean, should they be heir? Probably not, but... I hate awkward, awkwardness so much. I think I might just say, fuck it, don't even say anything. It's so awkward. Then again, Vaymond, 
I think he had a great point. But his point, he was talking about the legitimacy and bloodline, and it basically challenges the philosophy that uh, Viserys used to put Rhaenyra there. And obviously everyone knows that Rhaenyra's fucking lying. I don't think he deserved to get his head cut off. He He's loyal to the crown. He's stuck up for his brother. I hope this Snee Snake lives, actually, because I actually like that character. I and mean, I don't want to see him just die off screen. I can't say enough about that You just Viserys rejecting Milk of the Poppy to to want to be in a clear mind, to to want to have dinner with his family, and and to just say those last things. Uh, to me, it was the entire episode. Just him having a great moment, and, and that actor Patty something. He just was fantastic throughout this entire show. He had a great uh, last moment. I presume. I assume that this is his last episode. To me, I'm just wondering how Damon is going to take it. Damon and Renera seem to really love each other, and yeah, and she's pregnant with his child. Aemon, the guy who claimed Lady Lena's dragon, he grew up to be just obviously an incredible warrior. Kristen was there, still training him. And uh, yeah, he is just, he just seems like he might grow up to be a, uh, a tyrannical Targaryen. And Lord Strong's children, they are, you know, they're kind of little shrimps. They just stick out so so much and i hate the fact that there's so much like rivalry between you know i guess the the nephews and the uncles even though they're close in age they, they're all kind of children what's interesting is the way amon kind of like got excited when uh Vaymon's head got cut off by damon yeah it's supposedly you flip a coin and it decides if a targaryen is going to be a psycho or not I don't see that being true it seems to be a pretty rare case and someone in a comment got upset that i you know, really love Damon, and I, I identify kind of with, you know, him a little bit. I'm not saying he's a perfect or I'm a murderer, and that's not terrible stuff. I'm just saying I like his character, and uh, I really liked him in this episode. Like, he's got such a restrained performance where I feel like I imagine a lot of the women that were with him and me as an audience member, like, I want more, and I feel like I need more from him. And that's the trap of, of Damon, the, the person and the character, is that I think we want more from him, but we might not get more. I think we got to accept that this is who he is. I hope, I imagine and I hope that when the king passes away that we're going to get hopefully another moment with Damon uh, for his brother. It's cool that it, it's cool that Damon was getting the eggs in the beginning and they're all in this, this clutch that's kind of this, uh, this biological weird, you know, material and he, you got to pull the eggs out. Cyrix laid three, and now we have three more dragons, and they're going to be placed in, I guess, to some kind of heating incubator thingy. Diana the Servant, who Aegon raped, I, I was hoping it wasn't going to be one of those things where now Alicent is like this ruthless woman and wants to silence Diana. But no, she was understanding, gave her a hug, gave her money, and she scolded her son. And that's, I mean, he's lucky he got off with a scolding because, you know, obviously he should be thrown in prison. So... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't like the people that Viserys' sons grew up to be. And, you know, now that I'm a father of four children, like, I, I always wonder how directly responsible 100% I am for, for who they turn out to be. And, I, you know, and I believe I'm very responsible. Viserys is a, a great man, but he might not have been, like, a very present father. So, and he had them when he was older. I don't know how much of a strong masculine figure he was in their lives because they're all little shits. But I feel like that's a tale as old as time that these princes are fucking spoiled rotten bastards. And it's a story that we always see kind of recycled. Guys, this was a great one. Uh, probably my second favorite episode and definitely had my favorite moment by far with Viserys and walking up and Damon helping him. It was, it was great. Guys, those are the end of my notes. I hope you like my reaction and uh, I hope you like my solo reactions. Just give me a comment down below. The last one had a ton of comments. I appreciate you guys. It really helps the video, helps your algorithm and obviously we're trying to grow. If you want to support us, just go to our Patreon or click that thanks button or check out the merch. Remember, there are mugs too. Go there, guys, and we'll see you next week. Guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction and my review to the episode. If you like us and you want to support us, like and subscribe, hit that notification, leave a comment down below. You can also check out our merch, like I said, or you can click that thanks button. Really helps us out. Appreciate it. Guys, have a good week. I'm out of here.